Both gentlemen just three years shy of their 30th birthday. It was Fafadwam who's two inches shorter and came in two pound lighter yesterday at the weigh-in here at Carnival City. And it's pretty much even Stevens when it comes to the reach and stand up on the feet. And some good takedown defense, but oh there's a nice goodness. exchange there by Chifumbu. Fafadwam just reverses him and puts him back up against the cage. Good pressure from Sylvester. By the way, comes back. Oh, it's a nice oh, left high kick. There it is. That was a money shot right there on the side of the head of Papa Dewama. Just trying to turn him over. And he's got his back now. Uh oh. He's got the hooks in. Here it's comes Chipumbu. There's just... a lot of time left. Papa has nothing left. He's got nothing. He's kind of escaping. He's not making any kind of attempt to get out of here. There's some nasty blows coming in. Right swinging hooks from Sylvester Chipumbu. Oh, Brad Block was just about to stop this thing. He's still looking very, very closely. It's only a matter of seconds it carries on. Fafa trying to move around. I think Sylvester needs to go back to the strikes. I think he can end the fight if he does. Yeah, coming out into the third, Sylvester was teasing that left high kick, waiting for his opponent to flinch, which he didn't do. So then he just shot for it and just said, I'm going to kick you in the head anyway. With, 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 with my fake to switch nodes. With Ace oh. Tuck, with some big right shots coming in there. Fafa takes another big hook. Oh, it's a legal blow with All a right. massive side shot to the head. That should be over. It's going to be a disqualification. That so was it. Chifumbu just lost that fight. There's no doubt he was a grounded opponent. No, 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brad Block calls a stop to the contest at one minute, two seconds of round number three. Your winner by disqualification due to an illegal kick to a grounded opponent. Fafa, killer your mom belly. Duama. It's quite an interesting one because there's some very similar statistics, but it's 11 years elder is the Congolese athlete Guy Mongambi, but the height and the weight is pretty much on the button, and it's a slight reach advantage that goes to Guy Mongambi. Oh, well, that's a nice right oh, from Devin, that's a good nice exchange. Left. And he walked into a left there from did, Guy Mongambi. Did he, did he? Oh, oh, big shot by Kronje, he lands that one. It's one of those simple things of train hard, fight easy. And both camps have always done that in the past. And speaking of oh, one of those oh, products, here shots we go. coming from Kronje. Uh oh, Kronje is exploding with right hands. He's going to start in this fight. I think Guy Mugambi is hurt. He's trying, he's not getting away from anywhere, goes to his back. Oh my goodness, what an explosion by Devin Kronje. A special part of your brain is able to switch over to the logical part of the brain and think through that situation. And because oh, the shots we were coming in hard and fast, Montgomery wasn't allowed to Time do to that. Go down to he's in full mount. Full mount, ladies and gentlemen. Just about two minutes left. If Bob, excuse me, Guy Montgomery is in big trouble. Oh, some nasty shots coming in. Don't forget. The, oh my God! Devin Kwanye has got a strong back attack, so he's going to soften him up. He's going to get that right arm underneath the chin and look for the rear naked. Well, I know Guy Mugambi's tough, but whoa! He's taking quite a hellacious beating right whoa. now, isn't he? Rough shots. They are on the money. Because right to stop it is all over. Oh my goodness! Devin Kwanye looking like a machine tonight. Your winner by TKO to the strikes, Devin Kronje! Eight years older is Madness Marcel Elson. He's also two inches higher. Both gentlemen weighed in yesterday here at Carnival City in Johannesburg, 155 pounds apiece. But it's a five inch shortage in the reach as a disadvantage to Marcel Else. The skill set in these areas, this is going to end very, oh, very no quickly. Club touch. He may pay for that one. Saxon and Oh, a great trip throw. The power of the sax bomb. Marcel Ells may have made a fatal mistake. It's not touching. Oh, man, watch oh, out. Some nice strikes. Saxon. Marcel's in trouble. He's got oh, the plug clinch on. Some knees from the inside, possibly. He's looking for the guillotine, but he hasn't got it. It's a big explosion from the sax bomb. Oh, man. That was something special, that first 20 seconds. But we've seen Delafield explode like that in the oh, past. Oh, and a nice takedown there by Marcel Ells. I didn't even get to tell you what trunks they were in or anything. Round one, of course, brought to you by Dragon Power. Here we go. He's got the arm. He's got the arm bar. He's he trying to extend that arm it. He's twisted. The strike's over. Oh, my goodness. What an incredible finish for Saxon Delafield. Let's go. This kid just can't go past 30 seconds without a victory. Absolutely incredible. You know what? He can tell me not to call him the one-minute monster, but you just got to stop.
beating people in under a minute. My goodness. Saxon Delafield, your winner by tap out to Darpar. I give you Saxon, the one minute monster, Delafield. Melanie Gheorghez from the Netherlands is three years younger, also two inches shorter, one pound heavier yesterday at the Wayans here in Johannesburg, and also gives up about a two inch reach advantage to her opponent, Manon Fioro. I think both ladies are very comfortable with that. They don't mind to go kickboxing. Nice flurry by Melanie Kanchis. One, one of the few disappointing, if not. Oh, it's a great right question kick that landed flush on the side of Kirchhoff's faces. She's ready. She's determined. Round number two brought to you by Dragon Energy Drink. These kicks are coming. She really wasn't dissuaded from those nasty leg kicks that were coming in from Fioro. Oh, wow. Nasty Look at those hammer fists by Manon Fioro. Let's see what she has left in the tank. Both these ladies. Oh, wow. Miano goes to the neck. Next kick. Some nasty knees coming in. And then he goes down with it. Oh, I think Melanie's hurt. She took a nasty knee there. Melanie Kirchis. Manofi Rowe keeps raining down strikes. This thing is finish. getting ugly. Manon really wants to finish this fight. It's a nasty ground and pound. This is a difficult position for Melanie. She put it, putting up her legs as a form of defense. Manon just drives on through. Very happy to, to be in full guard and just rain down the ground and pound. Finally, the growth of, of, of French mixed martial arts. In 2020, it's going to be one of those countries that are really going to explode on the scene. It's people like this, like Manon Fioro, that should be spearheading that new drive of French mixed martial arts. It's great to see. Left hands coming down. Nasty. And there it is. This fight is over. This fight is done. Well. Manon Fioro stops Melanie Gutches. She is the winner of the fighter season two. Your winner by TKO to the strikes, and the winner of the fighter season two, Mundo Firo. Brendan Lazar is two years younger, has a four inch height disadvantage, came in one pound heavier yesterday, all within the legal limits, and enjoys a 3.4 inch reach advantage. You know, I mean, when you think about Brendan Lazar at 2 0 in his pro career, just the possibility that he could beat a veteran like Gareth McClellan and that he's hanging in there right now in round number one. That really says something about him. That says about the Ooh, pedigree. Nice shot. Ooh, Gareth made him pay for that one. Yeah, Gareth's been going with a one-two combo several times already in this first round, and that one scored nicely. And then got a quick counter. That's a hard look! Because it's done! He's finished! Oh, no, one more shot! Unbelievable! But with the greatest upset in the history of African MMA. Oh my word! Oh my stars! Brendan Lazar just knocked out McClellan! You'll remember this day! One of the biggest knockouts in the UFC history! Your winner by knockout! And new EFC Interim Middleweight Champion of the World, Brendan Descendez!